Namaste dear children, I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT Classic Social Science Chapter 4 Timeline and Sources of History Short Answer Questions and Answers Children, I have already uploaded the videos of chapter explanation and multiple choice questions. Those who have not watched, please go through it. What is the primary focus of study for geologists? Geologists primarily study the physical features of the earth, including soil, stones, hills, mountains, rivers, seas and oceans. What do paleontologists investigate and what form do their subjects of study take? Paleontologists investigate the remains of plants, animals and humans from millions of years ago, which are typically found in the form of fossils. What is the scope of an anthropologist study? Anthropology study human societies and cultures covering periods from the oldest times right up to the present. How do archaeologists learn about the past? What kinds of items do they examine? How do archaeologists learn about the past? Archaeologists learn about the past by digging up remains left behind by people, plants and animals. And what kind of items do they examine? These items can include tools, pots, beads, figurines, toys, bones, teeth, burned grains and parts of houses or bricks. What are fossils? Fossils are impressions of footprints or parts of plants or animals that are found preserved within layers of soil or rocks. Which calendar is commonly used worldwide at present? The Gregorian calendar is commonly used worldwide at present. What is the meaning of CE when referring to years? CE stands for Common Era and it refers to the years after the conventional birth year of Jesus Christ. What does BCE signify when used with a year? BCE signifies before common era and it refers to the years before the conventional birth year of Jesus Christ. What is a timeline used for in historical study? A timeline is a convenient tool used to mark and show a sequence of dates and events covering a particular period helping to understand the order in which historical events take place. So timeline, it shows a sequence of dates and events covering a particular period. This helps to understand the order in which historical events took place. Why might a timeline have a dotted portion? A dotted portion on a timeline marks a skipped period, which is done to avoid making the timeline excessively long, especially when covering vast periods like the beginning of humanity to the present. So this dotted portion shows skipped period and it helps to avoid making the timeline excessively long. How can a timeline help in understanding the relationship between historical events even without specific dates? A timeline helps in understanding the order in which historical events take place, allowing one to see which event occurred before another. For example, the birth of Buddha before that of Jesus even without looking at the exact dates. What is a source of history? 
A source of history is a place, person, text or an object from which we gather information about some past event or period. What are some examples of inscriptions? Examples of inscriptions include manuscripts, copper plates and coins. What kinds of items fall under excavations as an archaeological source? Under excavations, items like human, animal and plant remains, tools and weapons, figurines and ornaments, pottery and toys and habitations and burials are found. Name three types of archaeological sources. Three types of archaeological sources are inscriptions, structures and excavations. Name two types of structures that serve as archaeological sources. Two types of structures that serve as archaeological sources are monuments and mounds. What are the two main subcategories of literary sources? The two main subcategories of literary sources are Indian literature and foreign accounts. What types of materials are considered oral sources? Oral sources include folklore and genealogical accounts. Name two forms of artistic sources. Two forms of artistic sources are paintings and sculptures. What kinds of texts are included under Indian literature? Indian literature includes Idihasas, poems and plays, historical text, collection of stories and scientific and technological text. What types of information are found in foreign accounts? Foreign accounts include travelogues and historical chronicles. What is the primary approach historians use when studying a historical subject like a king, monument or war? Historians take great care to gather information from as many sources as they can find and consult. What do historians do when different sources provide contradictory information? When sources give contradictory information, historians need to decide which source they can trust more to try and recreate the history of the period. Besides historians themselves, name Three other types of experts who contribute to sources of history. Three other types of experts who contribute to sources of history are archaeologist, epigraphist and anthropologist. Name two specific examples of scientific studies that provide insights into ancient history. Two specific examples of scientific studies are studies of ancient climates, chemical studies of excavated materials and studies of the genetics of ancient people. What additional source do historians consult when studying recent history, the last two or three centuries? When studying recent history, historians consult newspapers as an additional source. For the last few decades, what new type of media can be consulted for recent historical information? For the last few decades, electronic media, television, internet, etc. can also be consulted for recent historical information. What is genetics? Genetics is a branch of biology that studies how certain features and characteristics are passed down 
from one generation to the next in plants, animals or humans. For approximately how long have modern humans or Homo sapiens existed on earth? Modern humans or Homo sapiens have walked the planet for about 3 lakh years. How did early humans primarily obtain their food? Early humans were mainly hunters and gatherers, relying on hunting and collecting edible plants and foods for their survival. Where did early human groups typically live? These groups lived in temporary camps, rock shelters or caves. What significant discovery did early humans use to make their lives easier? Early humans used fire and started making objects like improved stone axes, blades, arrowheads and other tools. Where can aspects of early human life be observed today? Aspects of their life are visible in rock paintings found in hundreds of caves all over the world. What kinds of simple ornaments did early humans learn to make? Early humans learned to make simple ornaments such as stone or shell beads and pendants made of animal teeth. What is an ice age? An ice age is a period when the earth's climate was very cold and much of the earth was covered with the ice. When did the last ice age end approximately? The last ice age entered around 12,000 years ago. What two significant activities did humans begin after the last ice age warmed up? Humans started settling down and cultivating cereals and grains and they also domesticated animals such as cattle and goats. Why did early communities often settle near rivers? They settled near rivers due to the availability of water and because the soil there would be more fertile making crop growing easier. How was land ownership generally viewed in early agricultural communities? There was no sense of individual ownership. Lands were collectively sowed and harvested. What is a hamlet? A hamlet is a small settlement or small village. Children, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. We will see in the next video. Thank you.